Rob, thank you. It's a growing sign of hope and beauty. Earlier this week, we showed you what now sits outside Edward Elmhurst Hospitals. A new daffodil is displayed outside for every COVID-19 patient saved and then discharged. This morning, we want to take you inside Edward Hospital in Naperville. Yasmin joins us live to give us a sense of what it's like treating those critically ill COVID-19 patients in the intensive care unit. Hi, Yasmin. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. Taking a very rare uh, break from the front lines, Dr. Ravi Namavyat Nemavant rather is the director of the ICU at Edwards and he tells us what's it's like inside all the highs and all the lows. We're running about 80% in terms 80 85% in terms of capacity. Dr. Ravi Nemavant is a pulmonologist. He says his unit is very busy right now with every patient requiring a significant amount of care. Nurses and other staff recruited from other areas of the hospital helping out. Today, 12 COVID patients are on ventilators. A lot of them are sick, but we're finding ways to stabilize them and get them off of ventilators. He tells us the exchange of communication from the medical community has been key. Here, they've been using the anti-malaria drug and another that's showing promise. You may have also heard of a rheumatologic agent called tocilizumab, and we've found uh, very good results with that medication if given at the correct time. It seems to... Um, tame down the inflammatory response. And this is a very nursing heavy intervention, um, but we're putting a lot of our patients in what they call the prone position or pretty much on your stomach, right? Um, and there's a lot of reasons why this works. It's a skill set that our nurses have had to adapt to, and it's been really tremendous to see it. Um, we asked what the hardest part has been for Dr. Ravi. It, it at times becomes very physically, uh, mentally, even emotionally exhausting to case after case, be able to provide the highest level of care that you can. The entire staff, the medical staff, the nursing staff, it's just dealing with the fatigue that comes along with doing this on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, that's why it's important to celebrate successes. And the flowers outside have been a big boost. 828 patients who've, been, who've tested positive for COVID. Now, of those 828, 319 have required admission to the hospital. And of that 319, 268 have survived, which is an 84% survival rate. And it's gratification because it's, it tells everyone, all of our victories are hard fought. And people, I can't even tell you, it's the amount of teamwork that has gone into this. And the doctor says all the notes and cards and food and encouragement has really been helpful. It goes a long way to boost morale and keep you energized. The doctor says that the number one question that he's been getting as patients are being discharged is when can they give plasma to help another patient? So right now, the hospital is actually teaming up with Mayo Clinic. They want to be part of a clinical trial to do just that, and they're hoping that all of that is going to start very, very soon. And hey, by the way, they were able to take one patient off of the ventilator after being on it for 29 days. So it's just amazing how far we've already come.